Excelsior! Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, beautiful. But yeah, hey guys, you like Copperman here. I am very, very, very sorry. Because today we have lost a legend. Not just in comic books, but in the entertainment media in general. Famed Marvel creator Stan Lee or Stanley Lieber, however you want to call him. Yeah, he passed away at the age of 95 today. And let me tell you, I, I knew for a while that it would eventually happen as much as I hate to say it, but it was, it was gonna come eventually. But I didn't know it would be this soon. So to all the Marvel fans out there, I am really, really sorry and I, I really am, um, what's the, what's the term I'm thinking of? Con con condoning the loss. I'm condoning the loss of this wonderful genius. Now, of course, Stan Lee did not, like, draw the, the, the characters, but he came up with them. He came up with Spider-Man ever since he looked at a fly. Isn't that awesome? And that's just one example. He also created the likes of the Fantastic Four... Iron Man, well, I, I think he did. I'm, I'm not a, a Marvel expert, but he, he did, like, conceive a lot of the characters. So feel free to correct me on that. Remember, I'm not an expert. I just, I just enjoy the, the movies. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, this is really unfortunate, honestly. And now, as I stated, I'm not the biggest fan of Marvel. I mostly just, like, watch whatever film adaptations are there. I haven't really read any, any of the comics. But... Despite that, I've known about Stan Lee ever since I was in middle school. When I attended the uh, Joe Kubert School of Cartooning and Graphic Design, that place was so much fun to be around with. Like, not just the people, like the classmates and the teachers, but just the overall environment and that a lot of the teachers there and, and the faculty were just huge comic book nerds. And I'm um, I wouldn't consider myself a comic book nerd, but I am an, a nerd to begin with, and so I just loved the overall, like, geekiness of it all. And a lot of that came from a lot of people's love and appreciation for Stan Lee. And there's a reason. Like, no matter what, Stan Lee will always remain a cultural icon just for the characters he, he made and the impact he left, because when the Marvel characters were made, they were, at the time, the most relatable superheroes ever. They, they spoke to a, a lot of people's personal... Um, issues and they made people feel like they're and like drawn characters that they can relate to more they're just the like the personal lives the everyday struggles all that stuff and keep in mind our friendly neighborhood spider-man at least the very first one peter parker is just an average teenage boy who wanted to fight crime but had to remember that with great power comes great responsibility which is something that we all must remember especially in this day and age <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have, as you can see, I, I, I don't have a lot to really say. I'm just, I'm just like really, to, really sad that like he, this like legend passed away. I, I may not, not sound all, all that depressed, at least not as much as others, but I, I do feel kind of heartbroken at this. This, this is just a little bit too sudden, but yeah, e either way. However, like, whether you're a fan of Marvel or, or not, you, you, you can't deny that, like, Stan Lee, like, without him, like, where would Marvel be to today? <laughs> uh, we'll always remember him for his memorable cameos, Excelsior, that Simpsons episode he was in. Actually, he, he was in two, but you know what I mean. And just being a lovable curmudgeon. That's my favorite kind of character in any films. Well, some of my favorites. The old curmudgeon. Hey, uh, Omaha Beach was just as dangerous as that. Takes a sip. Uh, Excelsior. <laughs> that was probably the best scene in uh, Age of Ultron. And his cameo in Thor, like the first Thor movie, was probably the best part about that film. Did it work? <laughs> uh, I still remember, it was 2012, I saw the Avengers on the big screen, and seeing, like, that was the first... Um, well, okay, it wasn't the first Marvel movie I'd seen, but it was, like, the first one I'd seen after realizing who this, this man was, and that cameo of him saying, Superheroes in New York? Give me a break. 
Oh, God bless. God bless. <laughs> yeah. But bottom line, um, to, to, to anyone who uh, so supports me and all that, who loves Stan Lee and Marvel, just keep on keep keep on, on trucking with your passion for Marvel and definitely keep keep on supporting this band. I'm I'm sure his friends, family, supporters, and all that are supporting him as much as we are. And the, yeah, this video is doesn't do any sort of service to. But hey, I'm just I'm just uh, saying my quick thoughts on it and. I really hope Stan Lee will be remembered for many years to come. He may be gone, but his legacy will live on. Now all we have to do is wait and see what his final uh, cameos in the, or what his final cameo will be in the uh, MCU. It better be in Infinity War Part 2. That would be amazing. <laughs> and with that, th thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this video is a little too short and a little uh, dis disjointed and all. Like I said, ju just giving my qu quick uh, condolences and thoughts on, on this and bottom line excelsior mr lee and how's your mother <laughs> what's the matter kid you never seen a spaceship before <laughs> uh bottom line keep on rocking lee and i'll keep on loving the marvel movies the good ones at least and with that peace out